Today I'm going to be making some uh, carrot cake cheesecake for Easter and ch carrot cake and cheesecake. It's it's mixed together, so you know you like if you like carrot cake and you like cheesecake, that this is the perfect dessert for you. So it's just in, it looks it's gonna look like a cheesecake in a springform pan. First, we're gonna start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Okay, first we're gonna make the carrot cake batter, carrot cake batter. First, we're gonna start with one and a one and a quarter cups of flour and um, a teaspoon of baking powder. Um, a teaspoon of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg mixed together, and and then we're just gonna we're just gonna mix that together slightly, and then we're gonna add in our um, confectioner sugar, two thirds of a cup. You you can see the recipe below in the description. This is once this is all mixed together, we can add in our vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla extract. And then, with a third cup of brown sugar packed, and actually we'll just mix that first slightly, not too much because then we'll we're going to be mixing it again with the oil. We're going to put canola, some canola oil, um, a half a cup of canola oil, and then just going to mix that together, and then we're going to add in our two large eggs, and once. And then we can, we're going to mix that together with, once that is all mixed together. Once this is, once this is blended, we can add in our, um, shredded carrots. It's about grated, I meant grated. Um, the, just mix, just that. It's, you could use two, two to three, um, large carrots Get the rest. Um, with a quarter cup of uh, chopped walnuts just we're gonna blend that together and we'll see you okay we put the the, the carrot cake is the carrot cake batter aside and now we're going to be making the cheesecake First in the bowl, in the bowl here, I don't know if you can see, but in the bowl here, okay, we have um, 16 ounces of cream cheese um, that softened, which is just like two packages of the 8 ounce cream cheese, and we're just going to make sure it's locked here, and we're going to, we're going to beat it, you can use like a mixer attachment or a beater attachment, either one will work. Once it's beaten, we're going to add in our teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, and we're just going to mix, slightly mix that. Slightly beat that. And we're going to be adding in our a third, third cup of sour cream. You can use Greek yogurt, vanilla Greek yogurt, if you want, if you don't like sour cream. Or it's just, it might, if you want it, you know, if you just don't have sour cream or you have yogurt and you want to use that instead, you can use yogurt. Just going to mix that. And then we're going to add in our large eggs. There's two of that. There. We're going to add in two large eggs, one at a time. So we want to make sure they're incorporated. We don't want to mix this too much because if you overmix it, it can be it can, the consistency will be wrong. And we don't want that. We're gonna add in our last egg now. And our last ingredient, just gonna open it up so we can do this. Confectioner sugar, two thirds cup, two thirds of a cup. You can add it all in or you could slowly add it, but I'm just gonna add it all in. 
and don't mix it too fast just slowly mix it you could do this all by hand with a whisk or a spatula or a, or a spoon or any kind of but so and the, okay now the cheesecake is fully mixed and once see yeah, once it is mixed we're gonna we're gonna keep that and we're gonna start and then we're back to the carrot cake which we put aside just to let it rest for a second while you make it that and one first we have our greased spring form pan we're gonna put about we could put about half of the cheesecake batter on it in it the cheesecake, carrot cake. The, the carrot cake that's what I meant <laughs> um, let's just start with that we'll just spread that around that's not half but we'll just make sure now we're gonna add another bit Okay, now we're going to add, we have it, we uh, smoothed it out, and we're going to add in all, half of the cheesecake batter now. And a little bit more. And we're just going to layer it. So two, about two layers on it because you're doing half and half. Okay, we layered it and we have the cheesecake on top. We did the carrot cake, cheesecake, carrot cake, cheesecake. And we put a little bit of carrot cake to swirl in. And now we have a th we're going to put it in the 350, 350 degree oven for um, 60, um, 50 to 60 minutes. Or until the cheesecake has set. Okay, so it's baking in the oven. We just put it in, and when it when it uh, um, and it should set, it'll set in about fifty. It'll set about for in about fifty minutes, and make sure you can cook it fifty to sixty minutes. So that's how long you cook it, and it should be done soon.